The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Eden Tobby here with third party Transformers unboxing. This is KFC's Crash Hog or their version of Repgar. This is 6A. This is the reissue. Um, from KFC. I got this from Toy Dojo. I'll put it in the link in the description below. You can go right to it. Uh, I think they still have some left in stock. They're also releasing 6B, 6C, a um, bunch of di different other figures, different versions of the, the Junkions that you can mix and match or whatever. Uh, I think two of them are available now. You got two more on pre-order, Cast Off and Dregs, I think are the names. And then there's two other ones. But this is uh, the one I wanted the most. I might end up getting cast off. But this is a red car. And uh, I want to take a look at them and show you what you get. Um, it's a little bit different than the previous version that was released. I don't think you get quite as many accessories. But I want to take a look at it and see everything inside. All right. So we're going to take a look at the packaging first, which is always one of my favorite things. Outside of the box has the um, nice artwork, actually, of red car here. A nice drawing. Here, let's just look at the top. The top, EVA metal, expendable, autonomous, virulent infantry. So, junkions. Converts from robot warrior to apocalyptic motorcycle and back again. Uh, keeps Fantasy Club Phase 6A. There's some Chinese on the side. Not sure. And then the bottom. And then one of the cool thing about this box is I like it's got the old school type of Velcro flap opening. So you get some details on the figure. A leader of the recycles. Crash Hog is always looking to ensure their long-term survival. I'm not going to read all this, but it basically tells you their own little um, tale. So here it is in the packaging. Recycle Warriors of the Space Apocalypse. Starring Crash Hog. So. Yeah, that's it. Let's get him out of the box and see everything we get. All right, so he's in a he's in a plastic clamshell here. Just kind of show you what we get. He's got plastic wrap on him. Oh man, he has got some weight to him. Jeez. Okay, got his wheels in there. Oh man, it's heavy. Oh, nice ratchet right there. That's always a good thing. He's got those fingers. There's a head. Gotta be careful of this beard here. But there's what he looks like out of the box. Let's see if he's gonna get him to stand. Uh, I think this mounts on his arm. Whatever, but there's the figure itself. Super, super heavy first impression out of the box. Like I said, this is marked as reissue um, 6A on Toy Dojo's website, and I will put that link down there below. Got a few things that kind of worry me a little bit, but, you know, plastic sticking out like this. But, you know, hopefully no issues with that. And uh, we'll take a look at the accessories. Comes with a book. It's a nice, that's a nice instruction manual. Let's, let's take a look at it. I, 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 I bought X Transbot stuff. I will have a lot of their figures, but KFC, uh, I guess is a version of X Transbots, whatever. Never bought any of theirs, but here it is. Crash all some stats. Card, card is super sturdy. Here's the book and the instructions. Oh, I've got like a little comic in there. Okay. Yep, there's a comic, and then here's the directions. Not sure if this is going to be fun or not, but we'll give it a shot. And then he's got a buttload of accessories, so. And I don't even, no, here's here's the wheel. Here's, what I don't know what this is. It's a TV? Is this the TV from the movie? You get this thing, and then you get... All this, we get the the axe, which got metal springs in here. We get three different blasters. 
Uh, handles for the motorcycle, some little blue TV, some orange, I guess like spikes, maybe a plug hole for your screws, I don't know. A lot of accessories here, that's very cool. All right, let's take a, look, a closer look at the figure. All right, first, looking at the figure, the number one thing is he is incredibly heavy. It's a lot of die cast in the, th I mean, you can see it right here. All this is die cast, the feet are die cast. Um, very solid, that's always a good thing. We've got flaps here. It's got the fingers that I think KFC is well known for. So, I mean, you can do anything you want with a finger. Sometimes I don't necessarily like this. Uh, for one, it makes the hands look bigger than they are. But, so you sort of get that. This guy's got, wow. Okay, we're Ratchet City here. <laughs> wow, that is, yeah, super tight. This leg is, let's see what we got. Okay, we got ratchets. They're all strong. Rotation on the feet. Got a heel spur. Got a lot of up and down. That's probably part of transformation too. This, I mean, it breaks it. You can remove the entire center cod piece and hip skirts here to bring the legs out. Nice ratchets on the knee. Very tight. We've got man, it is it's, it's tight. This is a this is I will say this is this is a little loose, but it's not, you know, I think that's to be expected here. Just as crotch. Okay, we got waist rotation with a ratchet. We can do an ab crunch. Bend him over, it's limited, but we got that. Upper bicep rotation. Upper thigh rotation, okay. The head has got, look at that beard. That beard's impressive. I just popped the wheel off. Apparently the wheels will plug in here on the, the leg and they also got ports here on the arm. You can do that as well. So that's cool. And they just plug in. And they're solid, man. Jesus. Very solid. Got these two pieces right here that worry me a little bit as the beard worries me with being, you know, thin plastic. But if you're careful, here's the back. Got flames painted on the motorcycle. Got like the side pouches. Do these open up? These look like they open up too. And they're on like a joint, so you can do that. I got gas tank, flames. Here's the back of his head. Very nice. He's tall too. Let's see if we can get a comparison. Here we go. He's right beside Magic Square Prime. He's about a head shorter, but this is a good size. Uh, I think this would par very well with if you're doing the movie crew. You gotta at least have one of these junkie on, so. And I'm probably going to end up getting another one and just have to have two to have a mix here. But there he is beside Masterpiece Scaled Magic Square Prime. That looks pretty good. I'm liking that. All right, let's look at him a little bit more. All right, before we go into motorcycle mode, now I don't think I'm going to show the transformation because doing the first time this, you know, a lot of times when I'm doing transformation videos, I am doing them for the first time on video recording them. And this looks to be quite a bit involved here, um, just based on the directions. Uh, let me see how many. 58 steps, basically, 59 steps. So I don't think I'll be recording that. I'm going to go slowly through it because, you know, there are some small plastic pieces here that could be worrisome. And I just want to take my time to go through it and uh, have a nice look at it. But, man... Really, shelf presence and weight of the figure is is freaking it. The, the weight is really impressive. I mean, it's like everything below the waist is nothing but metal. So, could not be any happier right now with this figure. All right, let me go through and do the transformation. And we're going to take a look at a motorcycle bike. 
All right, finally got it transformed and it's so, you're so, so, so glad I didn't film this transformation because I would probably have a stroke. It was uh, not fun. I probably spent, oh, man, I feel like I spent 30, 40 minutes on it. Just, there's some tabby issues with getting the arms folded in. I, you know, it's just one of those first time things where you're basically worried about the transformation, trying to get everything right. Uh, the way the legs fold, these orange plastic pieces right here that I'm pointing tend to pop out. I've been popping them back in several times. Um, you know, I don't know. I might leave it in motorcycle mode, to be honest with you, uh, for right now. It, it's not the most fun transformation. I'll just be honest. Uh, I think once you get past it the first time, do it a couple times, it gets easier. You know, it's just like anything else. But uh, I did not have a fun time doing it. So, yeah. You know, take it for what it's worth, worth on that part. Overall, I think the motorcycle looks great. I mean, I think it looks freaking fantastic. And it's big. Um, let's put a figure on and see what it looks like. There's MMC's Azalea or RC Sing on uh, a KFC's version of Red Car. So, I don't think that looks too bad at all, actually. Um, so, you know, you could put other Transformers and let them ride them. Uh, you can take the other KFC's Junk Yons and do the same thing, I think. So that's kind of cool and nice looking shelf piece. Um, you know, the motorcycle doesn't look too bad. I might leave it in motorcycle mode for the time being. Yeah, the transformation was not the most fun, but overall I think it looks pretty damn good. Um, if you're going to add to your collection, you're going to do the movie bots, 1986. You know, I'm, I'm missing like Ultra Magnus and Cup. I got everything else. Uh, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Uh, you know, <sighs> transformation really it kind of bugged me out you know i thought it would be simpler i thought it would be more fun it just wasn't once you get down to it you know is it a negative yes i think it's a negative should it stop you from buying this figure no um it depends are you going to transform it all the time it may not be the figure for you if you're going to leave it in a static pose either in motorcycle mode or in robot mode then yeah damn sure it looks good i would buy it put it on your shelf and, and let it go um there's some nice detail. There's a, the weapon, a lot of accessories, a lot of weapons. Overall, it's, it's just, I think it's a worthwhile buy. I think about 120 is what I paid for it from Dojo. Like I said, I'll put the link down in the description. Check it out. Check out their website. They got a lot of stuff actually going up every day, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, overall, it's a must buy. I think. Um, you know, whether you collect 86 movie bots or you're just trying to get your collection increased. They're different enough. They got a great size, a lot of die cast, great presence. Definitely a, a worthwhile purchase. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, trying to get to 500 by the end of the month. Doesn't look like it's going to happen after all, but I would appreciate any subscriptions or any um, likes, comments you could put down there for me. I would really appreciate it. Check out the rest of Rejecticons. That's Sardo New Spot 82, Kato's Collection, and Larkin's Lair. And we would really appreciate any uh, subscriptions or review, uh, likes on our reviews, anything like that you care to watch or contribute to. We really would appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys. See you down the road.